Hello, everybody. Good Tuesday evening, and welcome to Hobson Fieldhouse in Missouri City, Texas. This is playoff volleyball, and it's Ridgepoint and Cinco Ranch. They're playing in the semifinals of Region 3 in Class 6A Division 1, and we are joining the action in progress. The Ridgepoint Panther girls are down one set to none. They lost 25 to 18 in the first set, and now we join the second set with Cinco Ranch on top, 13 to 7, looking to go up two sets to none, but Ridgepoint is starting to mount a comeback. Kennedy Rogers serving for the Panthers and Cinco Ranch on the return. They get a kill. That's Addison Gertz. And that makes it 14 to 7. Sounds like the football score. Speaking of football, Ridge Point's football team is going to be starting their playoff run, taking on Manville. No, I'm sorry, it's not Manville, it's Pasadena Doby in the first round of the playoffs. Okay, Cinco serves. And Addison Menifee puts one down, but Cinco Ranch gets it off the floor. And a beautiful block by Rich Point. And they get a score. Taylor Johnson and Jaden Robinson, they're always the twin towers right there at the net. And they get Rich Point within 14 to 8. Now Madison Flores serves. Serves it deep. Cinco Ranch fires it. Rich Point blocks it, but it stays on the Cougar side. Now a big swing by Gabriela Martinez. Rich Point handles it. And Kennedy Rogers taps it deep. Cinco Ranch keeps it off the floor. And there is a winner. An incredible shot by Gabriela Martinez. She didn't even look like she was over the top of the net. And yet when it came to Rich Point's side, it was headed down like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like uh, a MiG going to an aircraft carrier. 15 to 8 Cinco Ranch, and now they serve with Emma Reed. Bump over by Ridge Point. Jaden Robinson, now Cinco Ranch will attack. Quick set winner. Amazing. Samaya Grogan Webb and Cassidy O'Brien working together on that quick set that Ridge Point did not expect. It is 16 to 8 Cinco Ranch. We've got a timeout. Ridge Point will be back on BikeFortBend.com. By the way, I'm Roger Smith, and Rosie Vega is the silent partner inside the mothership at Bike World Headquarters. And we'll take this break, and maybe Ridge Point can get things turned around. They're down one set to none. They lost 25-18 in set one, and now they're down 16-8 to eight in set two. We'll be right back. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston this January. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players, from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars, with the action kicking off on January 9th. Visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. The winner of this match between Ridge Point and Cinco Ranch will play Fulcher later in the week. Don't know if it would be Thursday or Friday or Saturday. More than likely Friday. And that would mean that we would not really be in a position to, to bring you a live broadcast of that one because of football coverage. But we do know that if one of our Fort Bend County teams survives until Tuesday of next week, we'll definitely be there for them at that time. All right, the action has resumed. Cinco Ranch leading 16 to eight, bumps it over to Ridge Point. Flores sets it up for Jaden Robinson, and that's a beautiful kill. Going into the deep left corner. Ridge Point gets within 16 to nine. Madeline Johnson comes off. And she's replaced by Emery Harper. Now Jaden Robinson will serve for the Panthers. Down the far sideline, dug out nicely by Cinco Ranch. And a quick one comes over by Cinco Ranch, but Rich Point is there. And now there's a big hammer by Menifee, but is turned away by Cinco Ranch, and they send it deep to the middle. It goes way beyond the boundary. Kennedy Rogers now gets it to Zia Sista, who sends it back over. And there's a beautiful shot. An improvisation by Cinco Ranch. And another great play by 
Gabriela Martinez makes it 17 to nine. Rich Point looks very composed, but they just haven't been able to turn things around on the scoreboard. Cassidy O'Brien serves for Cinco Ranch. Kennedy Rogers going to set one up for Emery Harper. Cinco Ranch is ready to attack again. It is off the Ridge Point block and another kill. This time a winner for Nicole Tierman of Cinco Ranch, and it's 18-9. to This is kind of like a boat race here in set two where... It just seems like Cinco Ranch pulls away a little bit at a time, but the lead only grows. Madison Flores deep to dig that one out, and Kennedy Rogers can't really get on top of it. Now Cinco Ranch will attack again. Kennedy Rogers digs it, oversets it. It's on the Ridge Point side, and a violation against Cinco or against Ridge Point because there were too many hits, four hits on the Ridge Point side, and. There might have even been a double hit mixed in there as the ball was pinballing around after it fell off the top of the net. And the lead is 10, 19 to nine. Cassidy O'Brien in the maroon sleeveless jerseys that Cinco Ranch is wearing, serves it into the net. And a break for Rich Point. They need a lot of breaks and they need a big momentum swing. Addie Menifee comes off. And replacing her is Piper Marquette, who will serve from the middle of the baseline. Keeps her feet on the floor. Fires it deep, and Cinco lets it go. There's another break. Consecutive breaks on a service point for Ridge Point, and that gets them within 19 to 11. Marquette with the right hand, gets it over. Cinco Ranch. Ready to attack from the middle, and Rich Point gets the Zia Sista block and a point. Three straight for the Panthers. They're down 19 to 12. She turned away Gabriela Martinez, which has not been easy to do tonight. Piper Marquette trying to serve three straight. Cinco Ranch setting it up, and a little tap over, dug out nicely by the Panthers. Cinco Ranch with one more hit to get it over. Not a spike. All right, set it up for Emery Harper. She goes cross court, dug out nicely by Cassidy O'Brien. Cinco Ranch attacking again. Martinez sends it deep, but Ridge Point keeps it off the floor. Kennedy Rogers looks for an open spot. Now it's a skirmish at the net, dug out by Ridge Point. And Kennedy Rogers sends it deep. And it's Cinco Ranch digging it out again. Now Martinez, that's too much for Rich Point to overcome. And finally, the streak of points for Rich Point ends, and it's now 20 to 12 Cinco Ranch. And Gabriela Martinez is ready to serve from the Servers left. Bumped up nicely by uh, Flores. Fight at the net. And it is a point to Cinco Ranch because after Rich Point touched it, before it went all the way over the net, it touched the red and white boundary antenna on the near side. It's 21 to 12. Gabriela Martinez ready to serve again. Here it comes. Coming in hot. Flores digs it out. Jaden Robinson sets it up for Emery Harper. She is blocked. Cinco Ranch has it on their side. And they get, they overset it into the net. Point to the Panthers, makes it 21 to 13. Zia Sista comes out. Aaliyah Smith comes in. Aaliyah Smith with a lot of air under it, sends it way deep to the back of the court. And a winner for Cinco Ranch. Right from the middle, they got it to Samaya Grogan Webb, and she was unstoppable. And it's 22 to 13. Now the libero for Cinco Ranch, Magdalene Finnegan, wearing the white jersey and the white compression sleeves, looks over at her coach. Danielle Wells 
And there's something going on at the scorer's table that is the reason for the delay. All right. Now they say that Finnegan can go ahead and serve. 22 to 13. Cinco Ranch threatening to go up two sets to none. Jaden Robinson with a big setup for Kennedy Rogers, but softly she sends it over. Now a battle at the net. Nicely dug out by Ridge Point and Rogers. She is blocked, and it's another Cougar point. Cinco Ranch is playing so beautifully right now that you would think they have more than six players on the floor. That's what it seems like. Just magnificent action. And they're up 23 to 13. Another serve from Finnegan is on the way. It is long. That's a break for the Panthers. They get within 23 to 14. Ridge Point fans right behind our broadcast table here at Hobson Fieldhouse. And it's, uh, there's just not been that much for Ridge Point to cheer about up to now. Nice serve coming in by Madeline Johnson, but Cinco Ranch attacking, and it's a Ridge Point point. Kennedy Rogers with the block, denying Nicole Tierman. It's 23 to 15. Madeline Johnson fires it with top spin. They almost overset it. Madeline Johnson tries the spike. Rich Point sends it back. Now another little tap, and it hits the boundary pole. It's a point to the Panthers. It went a little bit off the right side of Nicole Tierman's hand, and it veered into the pole. So it is now a seven-point set, 23-16. Johnson serves again down the far sideline. Seiko Ranch attacking from the middle. Nice dig out by Ridgepoint. Madeline Johnson bumps it over with two hands. Now the Cougars attack. Look out. It is blocked down by Ridgepoint, and they get another one. Taylor Johnson makes it 23-17, and Seiko Ranch wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. Third round of the playoffs. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi, my entire family's obsessed with all things Wicked, but my kids can't stop watching the trailer, and now they're having a Wicked-themed sleepover. Do you think our internet can handle all of the streaming and memeing going on? Well, we've engineered our Xfinity gateways to handle hundreds of devices at once, so they can all stay magically connected. Wow. Are you a wizard? I wish. No, just someone that won't let a bad connection burst your internet bubble. Now through December 31st, Get thrillifyingly fast Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for 12 months when you add Unlimited Mobile. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included at no extra cost. Or lock in your internet price for two years for just $5 more a month with a one-year contract. Early termination fee applies. Go to Xfinity.com to learn more and keep the magic going from your screen to the big screen. And see Wicked, only in theaters November 22nd. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay bank account. Equipment taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. All right, we'll see what Cinco Ranch cooked up during the timeout. Ridge Point is on a roll, but they're still down six. 23 to 17, Maddie Johnson serves it. Comes in hot, bumped up by Cinco Ranch. Now they're gonna set one up for Gortz. She cannot get it down, now it's on the Ridge Point side. Kennedy Rogers with subtlety taps it over, and now a big swing, and a winner for Ridge Point. It is Jaden Robinson. She got blocked, but it stayed on the Cougar side, and it's now a five-point set. 23-18. Maddie Johnson ready to serve again. She's been very effective, and there it goes. With top spin, Cinco Ranch bumping it up again. Now from the middle, it'll tap over. Ridge Point can put it up. Kennedy Rogers! She fires away. That will be a kill for the Panthers. I don't know if you could hear that, but it sounds different when Kennedy Rogers hits it. It is 23 to 19. Maddie Johnson is on fire with the serve. And she lets it fly again. Seiko Ranch almost oversets it. Now it is Reed's point with a great defense, but it's Seiko Ranch attacking again. Nice dig. Maddie Johnson sets up Rogers, and she goes deep to the corner, and Seiko Ranch oversets it. Ridge Point cannot keep it off the floor. Maddie Flores with a last ditch dive because. Three players were looking at the ball, each thinking another was going to take it. And now it is set point, 24 to 19. 
Abby Borchart behind the baseline, and she's ready to try and serve this out for the Cougars. Here goes Borchart serve. Dug out nicely by Ridgepoint. They overset it. And Ridgepoint wins a battle. Little Maddie Johnson at the net. Stopping an overset kill attempt. Wait a minute. I guess she touched the net. She touched the net. And the point goes to the Cougars, and set two is over. 25-19, they win it. We'll take a break and be back on BikeFortBend.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Lee Netty Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lee Netty Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lee Netty Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. Introducing Love Houston, professional volleyball like you've never seen it before. You saw them win silver in Paris this summer. Now you can see them playing for the first time on American soil. Love Houston will feature some of the best pro players in the world, including two-time Olympic medalists Jordan Thompson and Micah Hancock. Get ready for first serve in January 2025. Visit lovb.com for tickets. Volleyball is the next major league. What does the 50th anniversary of Title IX mean? It means I'm valued. I'm empowered. I can do anything. It means I'll pave the way for every girl who plays high school sports in the future. Just like every female student, coach, official, and administrator blazed the trail for me because every student deserves the opportunity to play. Encourage girls you know to participate in Texas high school sports. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Be the first to know. Sign up for the first hour in automotive email updates and be the first to hear about exclusive promotions and special offers. Plus, get a $10 off coupon for your next service just for joining. First hour in automotive always treats you like family and puts you first. $15 off your next battery purchase and $75 off service, totaling $500 or more. Head to the website for even more specials and to set your appointment. FirstTireAndAuto.com. First Tire and Automotive supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Okay, we're back, and the Ridge Point season is on the brink. Hey, volleyball fans, mark your calendar for the UIL State Volleyball Championships November 21st to 23rd at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, where the best teams from all corners of the Lone Star State will battle it out on the court, showing their unmatched skills, incredible teamwork, and sheer determination. For the latest updates and ticket information, head over to UILTexas.org slash volleyball. Again, that's UILTexas.org slash volleyball. All right, the teams have switched sides. Ridge Point wearing the white sleeveless jersey tops and the purple shorts will attack from our left side. Their backs are to the playing surface of Hall Stadium, just outside Hobson Fieldhouse. Cinco Ranch will serve first. Cassidy O'Brien will let it fly, and she looks over at Coach Danielle Wells, who gives no signal, so I guess Cassidy knows what to do. Maybe whatever she wants to do. All right, Ridge Point, got to return it, got to fight. And it's a point to Cinco Ranch, a double hit on the Ridge Point side. Not a good way for set number three to, uh, to begin. 
I want to correct the score. I said the first one was 25-17, but it was actually, I'm sorry, I said it was 25-18, but it was 25-17. And then Cinco Ranch took the second one, 25-19, and on a violation on the second point, Cinco Ranch gets another one. It's a double hit on the Ridge Point side. And Cassidy O'Brien will continue serving. She leaps and lets it fly. Kennedy Rogers bumps it up. Will they send it back to her? No, it is Menifee. Sends it down the near sideline. Cinco Ranch digs it out. And another winner for Cinco Ranch. Gabriela Martinez spikes one hard and it bounces off a Ridge Point forearm onto the floor on the Ridge Point side out of bounds and then bounces over the scorer's table. It is three to nothing, Cougars. They are trying to sweep. O'Brien fires her serve, bumped up by Menifee, overset. And a tap down winner by Cinco Ranch. That was too easy. Samaya Grogan Webb was all over it and saw no Ridge Point players to her left and a little flick of the right wrist. Made it four to nothing. O'Brien fires. Kennedy Rogers from her knees bumps it up. Jaden Robinson setting one up for Emery Harper, and she gets the kill. And Ridge Point is on the board in the third set. Here down four to one. Maddie Johnson comes on. Addie Menifee takes a break. And Johnson, who had a great service run that came up short in the second set, goes to the baseline and fires it. Cinco Ranch high in the air with the dig, and now they hit one long. Break for Rich Point. It is four to two. Panthers trying to come back. That was Addison Gertz hitting it a little bit long. Maddie Johnson ready to hit it again. There it goes. O'Brien setting it up in the middle, and it's another Cougar winner as Addison Gortz gets it off Ridge Point fingertips and the, the slowing down of the ball actually helped the Cougars because it fell into an empty spot in the floor. Five to two Cougars. Gabriela Martinez ready to serve. She spins the ball and lets it fly going over to the right. Flores bumps it up. Jaden Robinson setting it up for Kennedy Rogers and she wins a battle at the net and it's a point to the Panthers. It was blocked and kind of rolled around on the top of the tape. And it fell out on the out-of-bounds area on Ridge Point side. It is now 5-3. to three. And now Ridge Point has brought in Aaliyah Smith, and she serves. And there's another winner. Great vision on the part of Addison Gert. She didn't hit it hard. She just found the open area and hit it around the Ridge Point block. She didn't really come down on it. She... She spiked it basically uh, with a, a little punch to the right. Now Finnegan comes off the bench and will serve for Cinco Ranch, which leads 6-3. Kennedy Rogers bumps it up. Jaden Robinson going to set it up, and all they can do is tap it over. But Cinco Ranch doesn't handle it very well. They do, however, get it over the net. Flores, Robinson, Emery Harper cross court, and we got a whistle. And it's a point to Cinco Ranch because of uh, evidently it was a violation on Emery Harper. Maybe on her swing, she touched the net. 7-3 Cinco Ranch. Flores setting it up for Kennedy Rogers. She is blocked. It goes blocked. It goes straight down on the Ridge Point side. And a winner for Cinco Ranch collaborating were Tierman and Rahima Cohn. And it's eight to three, timeout Ridge Point. We'll be back. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston this January, featuring Olympic medalist Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars. With the action kicking off on January 9th, visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. 
Be the first to know. Sign up for the first tire and automotive email updates and be the first to hear about exclusive promotions and special offers. Plus, get a $10 off coupon for your next service just for joining. First Tire and Automotive always treats you like family and puts you first. $15 off your next battery purchase and $75 off service, totaling $500 or more. Head to the website for even more specials and to set your appointment. FirstTireAndAuto.com. First Tire and Automotive supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com We are back and Finnegan serves for Cinco Ranch. Ridgepoint keeps it off the floor. Flores can only bump it over and now Cinco Ranch will attack. O'Brien setting it up in the middle. A missed time spike. Ridgepoint able to handle it and Kennedy Rogers looking for an open area saved nicely by Finnegan and now a swing by Cinco Ranch that does not get down Ridge Point attacking Kennedy Rogers hits it hard off fingertips one more hit for Cinco Ranch to get it over and they do Johnson Robinson and a near one and a winner for Ridge Point Taylor Johnson and even when Ridge Point wins a point it just seems like the the ball Barely uh, hit the floor. Cinco Ranch comes so close to saving it. It's hard to find a clean winner against the Cinco Ranch defense. Matty Johnson serves. It's 8-4. to four. Ridge Point is down. Avoiding the sweep, they hope. But there's another Cinco Ranch point. A dig attempt by Matty Johnson. Went over the scores table and into the stands. And it's 9-4 to four Cougars. Now they bring in Borchardt to serve. Cinco Ranch and Fulcher should be a great matchup if Ridgepoint doesn't come back to win this one. All right, Johnson back set. Kennedy Rogers unleashes, and it's a Cinco Ranch point. She misfired, it missed the sideline. I had been wondering, is does Kennedy you know, have her fastball tonight? And yes, she does, but she was not able to get that one within the boundary. 10 to four. Cinco Ranch leading and serving and going for a sweep. Borchardt's service is pretty good. Now Rogers going to try it again, and she gets it down. Off of Cinco Ranch fingertips, and that gets the Panthers within 10-5. to Addison Menifee comes on. Madeline Johnson leads, and Kennedy Rogers will serve from the baseline. Will they let her do the high toss? When she does that, if it's inbounds, it's almost unstoppable but you never know if it's going to stay in she does the medium toss now Cinco Ranch attacking Flores digs it Johnson and Jaden Robinson with the kill gets Ridge Point within 10 to 6 Ball finding its way back to Kennedy Rogers and she's ready to serve. Medium toss. It is deep. O'Brien setting it up in the middle. Rich Point scores again. It is the defense of Taylor Johnson. She blocks it down on the Cinco Ranch side on a spike attempt by Gabriela Martinez. It is 10 to 7. Rogers serves again, does not wait. And it's an ace. And it's 10 to 8. Panthers trying to find that comeback and maybe they are starting to roll that way. Rodgers serves again. It is deep. Dug out by Borchardt. O'Brien setting one up softly onto the Ridge Point side. And Jaden Robinson hits it long. She kind of punched it. Didn't get on top of it. 11-8. Cinco Ranch expands its lead to three. And from the middle, Addison Gertz. She fires it to the middle. Kennedy Rogers bumps it up. And now a setup in the middle. And Taylor Johnson punches it wide to the left. 12 to 8. They had gotten the lead down to 2. Gortz ready. There it goes. Into the net. Rich point within 12 to 9. Zia Sista comes on. And Taylor Johnson looking a little bit tired. Sits down. Flores serving for Ridge Point. 
They almost overset it, but Cassidy O'Brien knows what to do. She taps it down. Using the almost overset as a perfect quick set, she makes it 13 to nine. Scoreboard still says 12 to nine. Now they change it. Emma Reed will serve for Cinco. There it goes. Bumped up by Rogers. Johnson, Menifee, yes! Shallow spike going cross court and Cinco Ranch couldn't handle it. It's 13 to 10. Jaden Robinson will now serve and she serves from the server's right on the baseline. She attacks, Cinco Ranch digs it out. O'Brien setting it up and hit to the middle. Ridge Point's gonna attack. Now it's on the Cinco Ranch side again. O'Brien, big swing, Kennedy Rogers digs it out. All right, Menifee, tap it over, but Cinco Ranch there with the defense. And a winner for Cinco Ranch. Samaya Grogan Webb using the side of her hand to flick it off of a Ridge Point block and it fell on the Panther side. And it's 14 to 10. Ridge Point seniors clapping their hands together. Don't get down, let's get back in this thing. O'Brien serves, Rogers digs it. Now it is Flores and Rogers spikes it. Oh yes! She wasn't even close to the net. She was a good 15 feet away. And yet it had the impact of a spike where she was right on top of it. And that makes it 14 to 11. Madeline Johnson ready to serve and she does it from deep behind the baseline. A two-hand tap up by Gortz. And it is a rich point point as Cinco Ranch hit the red and white boundary antenna on the near side. So that's out. And Johnson serves again with Ridge Point down by two. No spin on the serve. It's an overset and a winner for Ridge Point. See ya, sister. Hey, soul sister. It's a one point set. 14 to 13. And I think uh, it'll be like a B12 shot if Ridge Point can capture this one and tie it. Madeline Johnson lets her serve go. And it is long. Oh. Trying to go for the perfect one, and it's 15 to 13 Cinco Ranch. Gabriela Martinez ready to serve again. Her dad is Domingo Martinez of the Volleyball School, and we appreciate the Volleyball School for their sponsorship all season long. Gabriela fires her serve out, and that gets Ridge Point back within one at 15 to 14. Ridge Point with a substitution. That sends Aaliyah Smith back to serve, and she'll serve from the server's right. Here goes her serve. It dives. Cinco Ranch does dig it out. Gabriela Martinez sends it over. Now set up for Kennedy Rogers, and she hammers it. Good! Cinco Ranch says no, it's out, and the official in the tall chair agrees. He overrules the call, and it is 16 to 14. There might be a discussion. Coach Louise Kreit is up. There will be no discussion. It is 16 to 14. Kennedy Rogers spike called in by the corner lines official. Was overruled by the official in the elevated chair. And now we're ready to resume. Finnegan to serve for Cinco Ranch. With her team up by two, both in sets and in points. Kennedy Rogers, gentle with it, goes over the block. And another winner for Cinco Ranch from the middle. This time it is Rahima Kamon. I'm sorry. Rahima Kohn. Timeout, Rich Point there, Darren. They're down 17 to 14. We shall return. 
Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. My entire family's obsessed with all things Wicked, but my kids can't stop watching the trailer, and now they're having a Wicked-themed sleepover. Do you think our internet can handle all of the streaming and memeing going on? Well, we've engineered our Xfinity gateways to handle hundreds of devices at once, so they can all stay magically connected. Wow. Are you a wizard? I wish. No. Just someone that won't let a bad connection burst your internet bubble. Now through December 31st, get thrillifyingly fast Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for 12 months when you add unlimited mobile. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included at no extra cost. Or lock in your internet price for two years for just $5 more a month with a one-year contract. Early termination fee applies. Go to Xfinity.com to learn more and keep the magic going from your screen to the big screen. And see Wicked, only in theaters November 22nd. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless bill and auto pay for bank account. Equipment taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Well, often in a season on the brink type of match, when you could potentially be near the end, you see the team that is behind stay in their timeout circle longer. Ridgepoint didn't take a lot of time in their circle with Coach Luis Kreit. They're down 17 to 14. And Ridgepoint trying to attack. Kennedy Rogers hits it hard and it's out on the near sideline, right in front of the Cinco Ranch bench. And the girls over there are just giddy. 18 to 14, they lead it. Finnegan ready to serve again. Gets the okay from the officials. And she lets it fly. Bumped up by Rogers. Will they send it back to her? Yes, they do. She is blocked. And uh, the point goes to Cinco Ranch. It was blocked back in Kennedy Rogers' face. It landed within the boundary. And as Kennedy dove for it, uh, you know, she is... She's very powerful, and she ran into the official's chair, and it wobbled a little bit. He stayed up. That's good. Okay, 19 to 14. Rogers digs out the serve, and a little setup for Taylor Johnson. She gets it down. Ridge point back within four. 19 to 15. Madeline Johnson comes on to serve. Emery Harper leaves the floor. Johnson gets the okay from the officials, or not both of them. Okay, now both of them say, go for it, and she does. Bumped up by Martinez. And a setup that is blocked by Rich Point. Taylor Johnson says no to Addison Gortz. And it's 19 to 16. Johnson ready to serve, there it goes. And miss hit by Martinez. Hits a photographer in the head. Didn't, don't worry, it didn't hit her hard. And Ridge Point is within two. They got within one earlier in this set and could not get over the hump. Their season is on the brink. They're down two sets to none. Madeline Johnson gets the signal from Coach Kreit. There goes her serve. O'Brien setting it up in the middle for Martinez, and it goes through a rich point, blocking down. Point to the Cougars. They lead 20 to 17. Nicole Tierman comes off. Abby Borchart comes in and goes straight to the baseline, and she will serve. Borchart bent over, double dribbling the ball, and here we go. Johnson. To the other Johnson, and now Kennedy Rogers with a hump back, easy spike, sends it to Cinco Ranch, but it's now on the Ridge Point side again. Set up Johnson, and uh, unfortunately, Jaden Robinson couldn't get it down, and that's a Cinco Ranch point. A winner from Samaya Grogan Webb. It's 21 to 17. Since it's November and the anniversary of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is coming soon, I ask you, does anyone know where the love of God goes? Here we go. Dug out by Johnson. Now, and it's a double hit by Ridge Point. Another one goes to Cinco Ranch, and they're up 22 to 17. Oh my goodness. They are sensing victory. Ridge Point with a little mini timeout among themselves, and Borchart serves. Bumped up by Johnson. Now a big swing, Kennedy Rogers. That is a winner for the Panthers. It goes off the Cassidy O'Brien block. And out of bounds. 
22 to 18, Ridgepoint trailing by four. And Cinco Ranch three points away from getting to the region three finals. Kennedy Rogers serves. O'Brien sets it up. Ridgepoint with the defense. Rogers keeps it alive. Flores sends it over. Cinco Ranch will now attack. O'Brien. Big swing and a winner for Cinco Ranch. Gorts off the fingertips of the Panthers. It's 23 to 18. These folks who came here from Katy, depending on the traffic, this match might last less than the time it took them to drive here. 23 to 18, and from the middle, Martinez serves. Now a big swing, and it is a point to the Panthers because it went off Cinco Ranch fingertips. And it was uh, Taylor Johnson with the kill. And it's 23 to 19. Madison Flores to serve, wearing the black libero jersey, little number eight. She sends it over. Cinco Ranch bumps it up. Ready for the quick, the quick set, and Ridgepoint will send it back with Kennedy Rogers, but Cinco Ranch keeps it in the air, and there's a winner. It is Samaya Grogan Webb again, and it is match point 24 to 19. Can Ridgepoint? fight off four consecutive match points. It is Emma Reed to serve and try and serve it out. There it goes. Flores way off the floor. Menifee. Now Kennedy Rogers into the net and it's over. Cinco Ranch with a convincing sweep of the Panthers. 25-17. 25-19 and 25-19. Wow, every single comeback attempt got a wet blanket thrown on it by the Cinco Ranch Cougars who played airtight. We'll take a break and we'll be back on bikefortbend.com to wrap this one up. Mark your calendars. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for non-stop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalist Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. Cinco Ranch fans whooping it up as their girls get their picture taken. And why not? They deserve it. Volleyball fans, mark your calendar for the UIL State Volleyball Championships November 21st to 23rd at the Caldwell Center in Garland, where the best teams from all corners of Lone Star State will battle it out on the court, showcasing their unmatched skills, incredible teamwork, and sheer determination. For the latest updates and ticket information, head over to UILTexas.org slash volleyball. Again, that is UILTexas.org slash volleyball. We'll be right back. Be the first to know. Sign up for the first Tire and Automotive email updates and be the first to hear about exclusive promotions and special offers. Plus, get a $10 off coupon for your next service just for joining. First Tire and Automotive always treats you like family and puts you first. $15 off your next battery purchase and $75 off service, totaling $500 or more. Head to the website for even more specials and to set your appointment. FirstTireAndAuto.com First Tire and Automotive supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katie, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. 
Leanetti Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Leonetti Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Leonetti Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. My entire family's obsessed with all things Wicked, but my kids can't stop watching the trailer, and now they're having a Wicked-themed sleepover. Do you think our internet can handle all of the streaming and memeing going on? Well, we've engineered our Xfinity gateways to handle hundreds of devices at once, so they can all stay magically connected. Wow. Are you a wizard? I wish. No, just someone that won't let a bad connection burst your internet bubble. Now through December 31st, get thrillifyingly fast Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for 12 months when you add unlimited mobile. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included at no extra cost. Or lock in your internet price for two years for just $5 more a month with a one-year contract. Early termination fee applies. Go to Xfinity.com to learn more and keep the magic going from your screen to the big screen. And see Wicked, only in theaters November 22nd. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan, auto pay bank account, equipment taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply, actual speeds vary. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Texas. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the UIL and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All right, so we've seen another season end for the Ridgepoint Panthers. It's always tough to see that happen, but there is someone who was rooting for Cinco Ranch, and it is Domingo Martinez of the Volleyball School, our great sponsor throughout the season. And, and at Domingo, the I guess it's all good news for you. Your daughter, Gabriella, gets to continue on, and our coverage will also continue. So oh, that's amazing. Uh, I... This is this was the broadcaster's worst worst nightmare. I got here late, didn't get here at the start. So sum up what happened in the first set for us. It's always it's always super difficult to play against a team like Richmond, you know, uh, um, for Cinco Ranch. Um, they're so competitive, such a tough um, team. Um, I think Cinco Ranch um, were extremely prepared. Right, uh, they were the more um, efficient you know, in terms of. Uh, um, um, serve, receive in terms of uh, 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 kills, and, and, and they got it done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you are an insider. If anybody who's not in the employment of a school district or whatever can be an insider, do you happen to know where Fulcher and Cinco Ranch are going to play each other in what will, I guess, be the Region 3 championship of 6A Division 1? I'm not sure where. If I had to pick a place or, or, or make a guess, I think they'll probably play at the Merrill Center, right, which is in Katy. Yeah, uh, I uh, like the Merrill Center. Yeah. It's a great venue. I think that um, they haven't met each other. It will be the first time that they play against each other. It should be a, an extremely competitive uh, 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 game, a lot of fun. Both teams um, have gone to state in the past. They're extremely prepared, have a lot of uh, weapons, both offensively and defensively, so it should be a, a lot of fun. Is there anybody else that you feel comfortable kind of talking about, a team? Uh, I guess it wouldn't be in Class 6A Division One because all we really have is, uh, you know, Cinco Ranch and Fulcher. Uh, I guess you could talk about Region 2. Do you know anything about Grand Oaks and the Woodlands and the other contenders there? So I don't know a whole lot. I think that coming into this game, one of the, the – the scrimmages that we had in preparation for this was against the Woodlands. And so um, they're always a tough team, extremely uh, competitive as well. You know, well coached, well prepared, pound for pound. You know, uh, uh, one of the great teams um, every year, you know, seem to make it to, to the finals. By the way, this is the post match coverage. It didn't last very long. Cinco Ranch swept Ridgepoint. And we're talking to Domingo Martinez of the volleyball school. His daughter, Gabriella, is a great part of the Cinco Ranch team. Who are, They are really on a roll. In Region 3, it's basically all Greater Houston in Class 6A. But in Region 2, we've got 
Wiley out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area taking on Grand Oaks, the defending state champions. And you have Rockwall taking on the Woodlands, a team that has won state championships. So go Greater Houston. That's yes, all I can yes, say. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. The Woodlands against, you know, Riley should be a uh, uh, who they play? The Rockwall. Woodlands? Rockwall, Rock yeah. That should be a lot of fun. And, and Grand Oaks, too. I mean, they're, they're, they're extremely, you know, great teams. All right, Domingo, it is because of you and your great support that we have been able to to bring volleyball action to our audience throughout the year, and we appreciate it. And, um, you know, I got to say, uh, I was kind of rooting for I know, I, I know I root for the purple teams. <laughs> but yep. you know it was going to be kind of awkward if Ridgepoint had won this one, and it's full sure against Ridgepoint. It's kind of like, uh, I, I love you both. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that, which one do you love more? Well, now I don't have to answer that question. There you go. There you go. Well, uh, um, we look forward, like I said, to another great match. I think um, it'll be on Friday. Um, that's what I'm hearing. And it should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, wow. I can't be in two places at once. I got football. I got volleyball. Again, it's which one do you love more? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Thank you, hey, Domingo. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it very much. Thank and uh, tell Gabriella, congratulations. She and her teammates were just magnificent tonight. All right, thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So uh, I guess uh, Rosie Bega, my silent partner inside the mothership at Vipe World Quarters, uh, Vipe World Headquarters, and I are ready to tell you good night. And, well, it's just after seven wow amazing performance by cinco ranch it took them less than an hour and a half to dispatch an outstanding ridgepoint team and you know it just breaks my heart to to say goodbye to some of the outstanding seniors on this ridgepoint team madison flores kennedy rogers emory harper Aaliyah smith and addison menifee they have been uh just wonderful for this program that has had so many great successes. But Cinco Ranch has eliminated uh, Ridgepoint from the playoffs more than once. And, and the Cougars uh, really brought their A game tonight, and it was unstoppable. Again, uh, let's see. I was going to give you the final scores. The final scores, uh, Cinco Ranch wins at 25-17, 25-19, and 25-19. So for everybody who's a part of VibeFortBend.com, we invite you to join our coverage of playoff football as Randall opens its its run to state in Class 5A Division II. They will be taking on Belton Thursday night, 6.45 p.m. with the countdown to kickoff show from Trailer Stadium. And then it is going to be on Friday night, Fulcher taking on Katie Pato. So it is... Uh, the teams in the district that includes Fulcher, George Ranch, and Foster who take on the Katy teams in the first round. And uh, I guess people in Fort Bend ISD would say good luck with that. But uh, I like Fulcher's chances on Friday night. Thank you for listening, and good night, everybody, from VipeFortBend.com.